This baby was born just weeks ago. Already, it's witnessed shelling, street fighting, and the loss of its twin. When the bomb started falling on the hospital on April 20th, we were told we had to evacuate because no one knew what would happen next. So we scrambled to rescue the two babies. There were no ambulances and one of them died before we could reach Al Nada hospital because he was lacking oxygen. Fighting erupted between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary RSF group in mid-April, bringing the country's already fragile health infrastructure to its knees. Here at the Al Nada hospital, staff have had to make difficult choices about which services to maintain. We decided to keep offering obstetrics and pediatric services. Since the start of the conflict, these services have not been available at most other hospitals. A donation from the Sudanese American Physicians Association has allowed us to keep the hospital running. Despite this, staff say that stocks of medicines are running out. They fear that, like at other hospitals, services at El Nada could soon collapse. According to the UN, fighting in the Sudanese capital has left only 16% of hospitals fully functional. Many health facilities have been shelled. Traveling to reach facilities that are still operating can be dangerous, and supplies are running out or impossible to reach.